Hello and welcome to Pokemon X and Y Showdown. My name is Bade and today I have this new random team featuring Gengar and friends. And uh, no, I decided just to put some random guys to together. Because at this moment, uh, Smogon is discussing the possible ban of uh, the item Gengar Ride. Meaning that uh, Mega Gengar would basically be in the Ubers. And of course, Mega Gengar has access to Shadow Attack, which is arguably one of the most broken abilities. Especially when you combine it with something... As great as Gengar, that has an awesome move pool and really high offensive uh, stats. Uh, but uh, anyways, today I'm actually trying out a fun little sense of Perry Strapping. Not sure if I can actually make that work, but we can give it a try and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, his team is kind of like, I don't know, not really good against Gengar. But now I'm kind of in a horrible matchup. I was just kind of thinking that Smeargle would lead, so uh, there is that. But he actually has this most likely scarfed. <laughs> but what he doesn't know is that I got that Sap Sipper. <laughs> yes. So if he wants to try and put me to sleep, it is not going to be working. And I'm trying out this weird. Toxic stalling set because that's the thing. But he's actually taking his time setting up entry assets. I'm not sure how popular the Gudra is with the um, Sap Slipper, so maybe he knows about it. But um, I do still have uh, I do have Crobat, so once I get it in against I don't know something like Skarmory. Okay, he goes for the Parting Shot. That's interesting. Definitely an interesting choice, but does he just want to... I guess, no, I thought he would want to, like, trick me, but I guess he's not choice at all, apparently. And now he's probably gonna switch out, but to what is the question. I'm gonna go for the inf infestation anyways. Would be nice if I could just trap this Garamori in. And I do. Because I'm hoping that he's gonna be setting up some entry hazards. More entry hazards. So what I can do is uh, go into my Crobat and then just get rid of them. That would be great, so... But he does go for the Whirlwind. Okay. I guess he may have been suspecting something like that. But I'm not sure if he's gonna do that again. I'll just keep going into Crobat. Because that's what I want to do. And this time he goes for the Brave Bird, but I do still live it. Thankfully. And I do just want to get rid of those hazards. Because those, um, my team is kind of like hyper offensive. And uh, it would be kind of annoying to have the sticky web around for Mega Gengar and Greninja and uh, Genesect here. So yeah, I'll just do that. And now what I could do, potentially, is go into my Mega Gengar. Kind of force him into a sticky situation of his own. Because that thing is hurt, I can go for the Shadow Ball. Well, it's not gonna kill because I'm running... Uh, I'm not running any attack, special attack EVs on this thing because I'm running... A Perry Strapping set, although this thing could be using some special attack EVs, but I chose not to because I wanted to just uh, have as much HP as possible, so I could be trying to do those Perry Strapping shenanigans. Not sure if that's the best idea, but that is what I've got going on right now. And... Hmm... This is an interesting situation to say the least. I think I'll try to go for the Rock Polish, as he goes into his Rock and Wash. That's fine, because, as you just saw, I do have Giga Drain. And I do have that plus one attack, so I can definitely knock out a Rotom. But now he, he could go into Kyurem, he could go into his Gengar, he could go into his Mirgle, in fact. That's an often too, but from this range, I'm sure I can knock out his Mirgle, no problem, so... Yeah. No get out of the flamethrower. That's the problem with Genesis, like you never know what kind of coverage moves is it going to be carrying by. Kieran Black, definitely a problem. Now, potentially, I could save this thing. 
But then again, I would like to get some good damage on this thing, and holy crap, that does a lot. If only I had some entry as in stuff. I really gotta make a team around, like, rock polishing genocides with entry hazards. That could be a really deadly combination. Like, see right here? With the combination of, um, the spikes and stealth rocks, that thing would have been one hit KO. Easy. And now it goes into his lander spot. <laughs> I just happen to be carrying Ice Beam. Nice. Knock it out. And rock polishing Genesect doing some work in this match. Although I kind of wanted to do some work with something else. Mainly my Gengar. But hopefully we'll get a chance to uh, try out some Paris Dragon in the uh, next match. Let's see what he's... Yeah, he can definitely live one hit. And judging by his team, yeah, this is definitely a Mega Pokemon too. Alright. At least... Yeah, 21%. I was glad. Because now he's below the... Below the sub limit, he cannot make a substitute. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's go into Gudra. Let's see if I can. I should be able to live a hit from this man. Although he has that death and gleam, but still I do take a hit because Gudra is a specially defensive monster. Yes, let's go and look for another match. I hopefully do some fun shenanigans and Paris trapping. If I really want to do that, it would be extremely fun. Alright, what have we got going on here? A possible Genesect lead, Gliscor lead with like Protect to Scout and stuff, and Skarimori lead, Skarimori lead to set up entry hazards with. Those are possibilities. Which one am I going to be choosing here? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I'll just go with my Gengar. I should really have like a Scarper on this team, but I don't. So that kind of sucks. Now the question is, is he going to be you turning on me? I think I'll just suck down. I don't think he's gonna like Ice Beam on the first turn or anything. And yeah, he just goes for the U-turn. That is wonderful. Let's see what is he going to go into. Hmm. You know, Vaporeon and Skarm, which are his bulky Pokemon. They could be carrying Roar, or Skarm with Whirlwind. Well, Skarm has access to both, so that's the thing. But they could just phase me out, or he's gonna go into his Charizard. Now, I think I could... I think I could just trap this thing, why not? Why not? I don't mind. Alright. However, I guess I kind of have to play carefully if he's gonna like Dragon Dance on my Protect and stuff like that. But I'll just go for the sub here, just to play it safe. Alright. And now I can just Protect here. And Mega Charizard is dead as I switch out. Now, however, he is going to be predicting something, and he's going to go either for the Outrage, or he's going to go for the uh, Flare Blitz, or Dragon Ball Fire Punch, what, what have you. So, on that situation, it doesn't work out the best. Um, Genesec did some work the last game, so I'm going to be willing to sack it, but I'm going to be predicting the Outrage, but he does go for the Fire Punch, and he actually had Fire Punch over, like, Flare Blitz, so... That wasn't really the best example how to use Gengar. I should, I should probably add like a bulkier team with this Pokemon. I think that would probably work out the best. But oh well, still was able to trap something. And now I think I'll just go in Gudra. He may just go for the U-turn again, but uh, I stayed in last time on his U-turn, so he might be just predicting something, and he does as he goes for the Ice Beam. So, I think I'll now just go into Greninja, because at least I can resist the uh, Ice Beam that he has. Although it's not really the best of ideas, but then again, my Gudra can't do much. So, yeah. Alright. And we're up against the Fable, I think I'll just need to turn out. Kinda worried that this thing will be setting up something. 
like calm minds, possibly cosmic powers. Hmm. I think I'll just go into my Gengar regardless. At least put up a Paris song. See what's up. Of course, Clefable being a fairy type now, it has few new opportunities. And he's running a cosmic power set, which I am still not sure what it actually does. But I'm gonna trap it and see what does he have for an attack. He's got stored power. Okay. Alrighty. Well, basically, I'll need to get a double protect. I will try to get it. Of course, that has a good chance to fail. But I do actually get it, so that's kind of disgusting. And Mega Gengar is able to do it. Ew. Disgusting shenanigans. And I think I could just... I'll just go into Tornadoes because I got the Regenerator so I can take this little hit that he's going to throw at me and just uh, u turn out or whatever. But we got good old Skarmori right here, and I think I could just, um, I'll just eat Wavich. Why not? Why not? Of course, he's gonna live thanks to Sturdy, but that's what Skarmory always does. Always lives a hit. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I guess he could be... I'll just still, I'll still just go for the Heat Wave, even if he wants to switch out. I guess he could go in his way for him, although on that aspect I should go for the Hurricane. But then again, if he stays in, then I just miss. So I'd rather just play it safe. But he does go in his way. Porygon. It's fine, it's fine. So I could U turn out here. Or I could just go for the Hurricane. Or I could just go into my Gudra. I think would be rather safe of an option to do. I think I'll just go in Gudra. I guess he could go for the Ice Beam, but it still doesn't do that much. And he's gonna go for the Wish. Now... I'm pretty sure I can knock out a Skarmori from this range. But he actually opts to stay in and just go for the Roar. Alright. As good old Tornadus comes back in. Now, I think I'll just U turn out and I will go back into Gudra, or then I can just. I'll, I'll just go back into Gudra, it's really the safest thing I can do. And he opts to go for the Scald, and I think. I think right now. I'll just go for the Infestation, as he's going to make a wish. Yeah, alright. So now he cannot pass it, unless he has random Baton Pass. But, I really doubt it. He's gonna roar me out, or he's just gonna scold me. But he doesn't get the burn. So that's pretty wonderful. I can try this good route here too. Which is a wonderful Toxic Storming set. Doesn't really work out too often, but I thought it would be a really fun set to try out, especially with the new uh, wrap mechanics, because the uh, wrapping type moves, they do 1 8 of damage as opposed to uh, 1 16 that they did in the past. So they are slightly more useful, still not really the best, but I think Gudra is probably one of the best, like, wrap move trapping Pokemon in the game, pretty much. Because it's really bulky. Has the infestation and of course toxic. But uh, how much did the can actually knock this thing out? Wonderful. And Gudra was able to actually outstall something with this Kinniki set, so I'm really proud of it. Good job, Gudra. Great job. And now he's gonna go on his Genesect and why not just protect and scout what he's gonna lock himself into? Does it look like a choice uh, Genesect? Alrighty. But, the problem is... I think I could just let Gudra die. Because honestly, I don't really need it much for anything else. And, wow, I get frozen. Really? Gudra, why? Gudra, why? Why did you have to get frozen? 
And of course he's gonna take advantage of it, I should have thought that he would do that. But then again, from this range he won't be able to get back to his 30, so it doesn't even matter that much. Because he has nothing to switch into uh, my uh, Tornadus. He wants to go in his Blyscore, it's gonna die to a combination of Heat Wave and Hurricane, not to mention the fact that he can't do anything back to me, except for like Ice Fang. If he has it, he may have it. But yeah, Heat Wave does like 50%. Now he's gonna go for the Protect, because that's what Blyscore does, but you know, it's fine. I guess I can miss my attack, but uh, let's hope that I don't. Come on, Tornadus! Let's rock this thing like a hurricane, like we did back in Gen 5. Really fun to use Tornadoes again. One of my all-time favorites. And Hurricane lands. Thank goodness. Go Scorpions. And their other future comeback toys. So there we go. Um, I think I'm gonna call this a day. A little session two battles here again. But uh, yeah, I've got a little chance to try out a... Perish Trapping Gengar, and uh, I already got a couple other showdown matches like backed up before this, so I'm just wondering when I'm gonna be uploading this, and I'm also wondering is that is Gengar already going to get banned by the time that this gets uploaded? It may or it may not. Leave your thoughts on Gengar. Do you think it should be banned? And if it has already been banned, um, what are your thoughts on it? And of course, I recommend you go like read small. I, I if I find and if Gengar has truly been banned. I will leave some links in the description. I will, and if it's not banned, I will leave links in the description for the discussion of the possible ban of it, and so and you can go read on it and uh, not rage on the interwebs, and uh, without knowing uh, why Smogon is now kind of like well they 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 are not suspecting Mega Gengar or the Gengarite item. They are pretty much like doing quick bans, but uh, who knows what. Uh, they are actually going to do and when it's actually going to happen but anyways whenever something happens depending on what happens I will leave uh, those links in the description so you can check it out and I will post the results I guess in the description but we shall see what's gonna happen but leave your thoughts on this weird matter what do you think but Mega Gengar is it's just you know Shadow Tag Awesome Mopul High offensive stats. That that's a really dangerous uh, combination of abilities and stats and moves and everything. And uh, hence the reason why we are talking about banning it. Who knows what happens? I'm gonna stop rambling and repeating myself. And I will check you guys next time. Until then, this is Spade signing out. Peace.